I'm back and I know my setup is different. That's because this is not a hair video. However, I'm getting ready to film hair videos and I have to do my makeup. So I came on here to talk to you guys because I bit the bullet and got that ill maquillage shit that you see all over Facebook. I bit the bullet. We're gonna see how it works out. Um, I've already been cleansed. I use a Peter Thomas Ross cleanser. I've been moisturized. I use his moisturizer as well. Um, I've been primed and you know my holy grail of primers. I use the Milk Makeup uh, Primer all over my face except my under eyes. I use their hydrating primer under my eyes. Look at Tito. He gonna, he gonna, call, he gonna act a fool this whole video. Anywho, uh, my skin, if you can't tell from my primers, I, I used to be all oily, but now I find that I'm more combination. Like I get oily just right here in my T-zone, but the rest of my face is, is pretty uh, dry and like right under my eyes are dry too. So that's a little bit about me. Um, as far as my skin tone, um, the easiest way to tell you what my skin tone is and uh, what is it? What's the famous makeup that everybody used at drugstore? Uh, the Fit Me. I'm 355 Coconut and Lancome, which is my current go-to. I am, what is this? Don't get up there crying. I am 510 Suede C and a NARS foundation. I am Bellum which is a uh, 3.6 medium deep. Right, yeah, but normally when I'm filming, I'm in this tried and true matte and portless, uh, poreless fit me. Um, and 355 for the coconut, right? This one actually is 356 warm coconut, but normally I'm 355 coconut. All right, so I kept seeing that ill maquillage all over Facebook and I mean it make it look like the girls just tap their skin and boom it's on there So I bit the bullet and I got it. It came in this box. I haven't used it But I did open up the box just to see what was in here um, So they have the instructions on how to use the product and it's a hard box Minimal minimalism is dead and that's true cuz y'all I don't have a in between either I'm completely bare faced like this going out or I'm full face, so we shall see. I got the foundation, and my foundation, it says the Flawless Base Foundation, woke up like this, and I got this, it says the most reviewed foundation online. Mine is in the shade, oh, 170. I guess that, yeah, 170. I might have to get my boy because he's about to start crying. I also got, what is this, a concealer, I believe. This is the concealer. Um, yes, I got the Fuck I'm Flawless Multi-Use Perfecting Concealer. And we got that in the shade, what is this? 13.5. It looks, it looks a little light, I can't, I, I can't lie. And I got a, a eyeliner, which I, they, that must have been an extra because I know I wouldn't have ordered this yet because y'all know I wear falsies that are on for about two weeks and my eyebrows are micro braided. So yeah, it's just a, a black eyeliner. All right, let's test out. Let's look at this foundation first. Um, it's a screw top, but it's the pump, which I do prefer that so you can get every little bit out the bottom. Let's see. Trying to make come out, y'all. Matter of fact, let me just do it this way. All right, so I know a good way to do this. What I'm gonna do is, this is that 355 coconut, and this is oof, this new one. They look kind of the same, huh? I'm gonna just apply a little bit to my cheek and see what we working with. I just wanna. I'm try to just blend it out with my finger. Um, 
it's a close match, y'all. That's gonna be, it's a little warm, but that's gonna be a pretty close. Oh yeah, y'all, that's, yeah. Okay, yeah, y'all, that's gonna be bomb. Let me try this concealer because it looked, hold on, poops. He spoiled. Okay, this is the concealer. I wanna see if it's gonna be, oh yeah. I'm gonna use this to maybe not correct this yellow under my eyes, but I am gonna use this to, uh, or to correct the darkness under my eyes, but I am gonna use this to highlight. Let me just put a little bit on this other side, just because I'm sorry, y'all. Tito and I used to not having my undivided attention at all freaking times. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do, y'all, I like that match on that foundation. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna fast forward through that part, cause that's really all I wanted to see is the foundation. And is it really covering like they say? Let's found, uh, put the foundation on, I'm gonna fast forward through that part. I'm gonna use a sponge to uh, blend it out, and then we're gonna come through and we're gonna apply the foundation. Okay, y'all, so I have applied the foundation. You, it got up in my hair, but it's okay. Like I said, I'm about to film here. And I must say that it really does not feel like I have on a whole lot of foundation. It blended super easy. And it did give me some coverage, y'all. Uh, so far, I am really, really feeling this formulation. Mmm, y'all. All right, I'm gonna set my face with, uh, who is this? Laura Mer Mercier, I had to think about it. Uh, her setting powder, I use the translucent, translucent medium deep. And then we're gonna highlight and set that and play around a little bit more. Be right back. All right, so when I conceal to highlight under my eyes, I find myself reaching for the same three concealers, just depending on how I feel that day. You do have the drugstore. I'm still a fan favorite of the LA Pro Girl. I highlight with the color Fawn, and I use this a lot. Like, no matter where I go, I will always come back to those. Um, I also use the NARS um, concealers to highlight. They, I like them. I use the color, what is this? Caramel, but I use another color as well. Shit, where is this? Caramel, I don't, this is the one I use the most. That's why I have it in the big one. And I use the shade, shit, I'm old. Medium dark. Okay, this is probably the one I use the most between the two. Um, and I do, sometimes I forget they're there. I don't reach for them as much. What I have been reaching for the most are these uh, Huda Beauty concealers. I love these. I actually use these to correct my skin. Um, and I will use the shade, normally, I didn't do it today, uh, Crumble 7.1, because it matches my skin tone so well. But to highlight, I will use, I go back and forth between Peanut Butter in 6.7. Um, and if I want a really like bright, highlight i will use candy ginger in 6.1 so let's compare the shade so like i said this one is in the shade 13.5 and it's the fuck i'm flawless <laughs> okay so 
here is, let me swatch it on the back of my hand. Okay, so the one that's closest to my knuckle will be the new Il Maquillage. There's that color. And the swatch that I'm gonna do next to it is the one that I reach for the most is uh, Huda Beauty Candy Ginger. And let's see if they are similar. Mine is a little more um, neutral toned. This one is a little more warm, but let me tell you why that doesn't bother me. That actually doesn't bother me because the other one that I use, that other Cuter Beauty, that 6.7, is probably gonna be close to that. Oh, no, maybe not. It's actually a little warm. Okay, so that's the new one, the small one in the middle. And those are the two that I normally highlight with. So it's a little different, but it might be better. Let's see, I'm gonna apply this. I only really highlight under my eyes. So I'm gonna apply that to my eyes and probably play around with like my contour a little bit because I like for my highlighter to sit for a minute and then set it. But you'll see all that and then I'll be right back.
by this i thought it was kind of gimmicky but on the ma'am bam bam this was bomb.com to the fact i kind of want to go get a concealer that is maybe one shade lighter just to see what it does i have on my mini ring light uh let me turn off my light so you can see okay so that's no ring light on look at my room my room kind of junky that's what no ring light on this is what we got y'all and this shit was bomb.com I really, really recommend it. This is what's gonna do it for me though, the staying power. It is now 12, 18 p.m. When I film, I bulk film, I film like 10 videos in one day. So I will probably have this on until about six or seven-ish. Um, and I wanna come back and update you and let you see how my makeup looks, how you know everything came together and uh, go from there. But y'all, as of now, like just putting this on, this is, this is, such a beautiful finish it gave me full coverage but y'all i really do not feel like i have on foundation so i can 1000 percent recommend this just for the look um we'll see if i recommend it for the staying power let me go let me grab him because he look he knocked out let me go grab him go downstairs film these wigs sis and then i'll come back with my absolute final thoughts let you see my makeup all right y'all i am back with my final thoughts on this um foundation and concealer duo i'm looking at my clock over there it is now 6 37 and i want to say this got on my i put this on my face around 12 and y'all the red lipstick did not hold up i'm sorry that's tito the red lipstick did not hold up but y'all this foundation did like i i just knew that i was gonna get like some breakage in here or on my chin i'm getting a little right there but that's if i'm like pushing it um but y'all know i love these blotting sheets or the, this blotter by fenty what is this called what is this actually called i use it so much uh invisimat Watch this, like even with that little shine that I am getting, and y'all keep in mind, this has been on my face for over, over six hours. Y'all, it's like a freak. it's like a freak. If I apply this to it, and this is my first time doing it i keep this on my desk when i film because like i said it's usually like long days golly y'all do i recommend i really thought that this was just clickbait but i 1010 percent recommend this foundation and concealer duo and i was thinking i was gonna go back and get like a lighter shade in the concealer but y'all this looks so natural to me this is bomb.com i will give them that this is a bop. This hair, if you're wondering, it's in a two-part review I filmed. I'm not sure if it went up yet. This is Altre's uh, Blaze, and I have Altre Luxe as well. I definitely 1,000% recommend that you go pick up this foundation, though. If you've been thinking about trying it, y'all, it's not going to hurt to try because it was hard to find a review on a brown girl, and I am a brown girl, and y'all, I can vouch for this shit. 1000% recommend that you pick it up. In the comments, let me know if you tried it and if you liked it. They do have this thing to where if it doesn't work for you, you can send it back after so many days, but I can tell you now that I am keeping, I am keeping it. I am keeping it. In the comments, let me know if you've tried it. Until next time, y'all, which will be very, very soon. Bye.